Why did the Kool-Aid Man tear down the Berlin Wall? As rising global temperatures in the 1980s turned the ongoing Cold War into the Cool War, tensions between the USSR and the West began to soften. This was due to a strong diplomatic relationship established by President Ronald Reagan and Soviet Premier Mikhail Gorbachev, who began opening the Soviet Union to the wonders and glories of American fast food, which was particularly popular amongst people who were Russian. But there was still one place where tensions were high, and this was the city of Berlin, whose western democratic half had been walled in decades ago by Bob the Builder in order to limit the influence of dental insurance. The large cost of constructing and maintaining the Berlin Wall had put East Berlin in the red for years, which in turn kept Bob the Builder stuck in middle management within the Soviet political hierarchy. Frustrated by decades of no promotions, Bob the Builder ruled East Berlin with an iron fist, tolerating no chicanery at the city's western border. President Reagan knew that to ultimately defeat the USSR, he would need to topple the Berlin Wall, and to do this, he would need the help of history's greatest wall destroyer. But since the Mongols were also communists at this time, he had to settle with the Kool-Aid Man. However, the Kool-Aid Man had fallen on tough times after an unfortunate incident in the late 70s had severely damaged his brands, and not to mention, he was drowning in debt from numerous property destruction fines. In exchange for pardoning his 56 counts of felony destruction of property charges and expanding the Just Say No campaign, to include joining cults, Mr. Kool-Aid Man agreed to help old Ron bring down the Berlin Wall. In the summer of 1987, Reagan visited Berlin and delivered one of the most consequential speeches in the modern era. Mr. Bob the Builder, tear down this wall. As cheers filled the West Berlin crowd, Mr. Kool-Aid Man smashed through the concrete barriers that divided the once unified city, shouting one final oh yeah before being shot by an East Berlin border guard. His death, although tragic, would shock Germany into taking down the wall completely just two years later. Shout out to all my patrons for voting on this video for the month, and a special thanks to all my Emperor level patrons for your contributions.